All right, what's up guys? Big day today, August 21st, 2017 in East Tennessee. That means solar eclipse. And we're right in the center of it. Just wanna show you my setup before we get going here. So, first of all, the big telescope right here with a crop sensor cannon on it. That gives me about 1400 millimeters this smaller telescope gives me about 800 effective for comparison for size here is a 70 to 200 so you can see quite a bit bigger um, so pretty big deal I have uh, known about this for about a year I've been preparing for it so I've got about two minutes to shoot totality uh, no pressure or anything, but it'll never go back through here or it won't go back through here for a long, long, long time. So, like I said, it's about 1130 right now. The sun first touches the moon around, or the moon first touches the sun. Let me get that right. Around 1 o'clock. So, I uh, will keep you guys up to date. And then 2.30 is the big time. That is when we go into totality. It's hard to believe. I mean, it's hard, you can't see, there's no clouds in the sky, but pretty soon this beautiful clear day will be almost as dark as night. So, looking forward to it. Really big deal. I'm excited to show you guys and hopefully it'll turn out. Alright, so we are about 1220, which means we're 40 minutes away from when the moon first uh, starts to touch the sun. Let's talk a little bit about gear and how I hope to uh, photograph this maybe once in a lifetime event. We'll start with just basic ultra wide angle, uh, 16 to 35. This I'm going to use when it's in totality. Um, hopefully get the eclipse with some foreground. There's mountains in the background here, so that in this picture will be the foreground. Um, next, these two mounts right here and here, these are aligned with uh, direct north. So what that does is as the earth spins, it keeps everything locked in position. So it seems weird to say, but I've got a 70 to 200 here. That's going to be my wide angle lens. I plan to use that when it's in totality, hopefully get uh, maybe Venus and Mercury and some stars as well. Let's go over to the cannons over here. Um, this is a telescope, this astrophysics telescope, it's 892 millimeters. So when you put a crop camera, crop sensor camera on it, that brings it to right around 400. This is going to give a really clear picture of uh, just the disc and the moon coming in on it. This is uh, I'm going to use to take various shots throughout and then hopefully when it's in totality get the, uh, the corona of the sun as it comes around. This black telescope here is 500 millimeters, so that gives me right at 800 with a crop sensor camera on it. I'm going to use this to take a time lapse. Uh, probably going to take shots every 30 seconds with that, so uh, I'll form a video of the sun. As, as it's covered by the moon. Um, so, in addition to that, I've heard that when, again, it's in totality, you have basically a 360 degree sunset. So I've got the drone. If I'm able to capture all that, I like to take the drone up about 100 feet and just spin it around and hopefully see the color that is sunset. Um, pretty wild. So it will, uh, it's getting exciting. This is, uh, I shoot mostly large format and you know, uh, that's kind of, you, you get the shot and you may not be able to get it in, but this is really the case if you don't get the shot. Um, the next total eclipse in the U.S. is in seven years and it's pretty far away from me. Um, about an eight hour drive, so if I don't get it today, I've got to wait seven more years in a location that's very far away. So hopefully, with four cameras on it, two telescopes, a long lens, a wide lens, I have everything covered. Um, I'll try to video when it's in totality, but I'm imagining it's going to be pretty crazy. I'll be pretty hectic making sure I get the shot. But again, we're 40 minutes away and uh, I'll start firing up the time lapse uh, in about 20 minutes. See you soon. All right, clearly the most important part of the day 
themed food. Cosmic brownies, moon pies. Moon pies, I mean, those are just good anytime. Milky Way, sun made raisins, sun chips, That's and awesome. Starbursts. There we go. I knew I was leaving now. Starbursts. Oh, wait. Sun kiss. Show sun kiss. Most important, oh yeah, show Capri Sun. Uh, pulled back the pepper in there. All right, so most important part of every Eclipse event is the food. Got that on lockdown. It starts in about 10 minutes. Look at daddy. Turn around, look at daddy. <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> what do you see, baby? Moon. What's it doing? Covering the sun. That's so cool. Are you going to draw it? I'm going to glue it. You're going to glue it. I'll do it. Squirt, uh, squirt, yeah, squirting good. mustard on the moon. That's good. Okay. Go ahead and put it where it belongs. How much of the sun was it covering? Uh, Is it that much? Good. Yeah. Okay, so it's about 210. Uh, which means we're about 20 minutes away from totality and I know the video camera is not going to pick this up but it's noticeably darker uh, than it was and it's starting to get cooler as well. The quality of light is just indescribable. It's bizarre. It's not like a sunset. Uh, it's definitely, definitely a different kind of light. Now I say it's getting darker and it is but uh, at the same time for the sun to be roughly 70% covered it's uh it's still really bright uh, I, I just I hope the pictures do it some kind of justice or the the time lapse I'm getting because this is one of the coolest experiences um, I've ever had just to think that uh, here in about 20 minutes it's going to be almost completely dark is uh, so bizarre but you can see behind me Everybody's enjoying themselves. We've got one, two, three, three telescopes and multiple, multiple long lenses. So uh, everybody's got it covered. Um, but 20 minutes away. I'm gonna, again, try to do video during totality. We'll see what that uh, see what that looks like. All right, <laughs> it's come and gone. I'm sorry I didn't get any video during totality, but that was the fastest two minutes of my life. Um, good heavens. So, some things that uh, I guess you have to take my word on that we observed. You could hear crickets. It got dark. Uh, you saw the planet, probably Venus. I didn't get any shots of that, unfortunately. Um, I mean, the dramatic cooling, the quality of the light was just out of this world. Um, let's see, what else? I'm trying to record all this so I don't forget it. Uh, so, so fast. Um, I, I forgot to take off my filters, so for about 30 seconds there I was firing away and uh, no light was coming through. So I was like, what's going on? And then you just, you forget. It's such a rush. You put so much pressure on yourself because it only happens. Uh, so, or it happens so rarely. But, um, very happy the time lapse is continuing to go. And, uh, I think I got some good shots uh, of the sun coming back out from behind it. Just amazing, amazing. If it's anywhere close to you when it happens in 2024, I highly recommend driving to it. Uh, that was just surreal. Ah, a little bummed I didn't get any drone footage. Which is, I can't emphasize enough how fast it was, how much it cooled down, and how hot it already is again. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to finish up this time lapse to show you guys at the end, and uh, <laughs> we'll see you again in seven years.